Before humans had the ability to keep the time on their wrist, how would it be possible for anyone to maintain some sort of schedule? With the development of the sundials, it was then possible to measure the time, but only on a sunny day. Ancient Egyptians began to come up with the idea of a time measurement device using the flow of water. They knew, as the water level in a vessel drops, the velocity of the outflow stream would also drop. However, this was of no concern to the Egyptians when it came to developing their clepsydra, or water thief. They used their clepsydra as more of a timer rather than a clock. It could be seen in a courtroom where a lawyer would be allotted one bucket of water to present their case before literally running out of time. In order to account for any interruptions or overnight breaks, they would simply plug the hole, ceasing the flow. From 1392 to 1897, during the Joseon period of Korean history, engineers took advantage of the buoyancy force to develop a notification system. They knew from Archimedes that when a body is submerged in a fluid, a buoyant force acting on the body could cause it to float. As runoff water fills a secondary vessel, an object with positive buoyancy rises with the water level. The Korean dynasty combined an ancient water timer with a revolutionary design to create an alarm clock with different sounds for different times. As time passed, the clepsydra continued to be used in various forms, but one problem persisted. Time was measured from a starting point, and the clepsydra needed to be emptied and refilled constantly. The solution? Siphoning. A vacuum allows external air pressure to move the liquid through the tube and into the lower cup. This will continue until either liquid heights from the ground are at equilibrium or the upper cup runs out of fluid. At the start, the column on the right is heavier, so the liquid is pulled by gravity into the lower cup. Once surface heights reach equilibrium, forces will be balanced in the siphon and the flow of fluid will cease. With the understanding of a siphon, Sibius, a Greek engineer, was able to make an automatic, self-resetting water clock like the world had never seen before. One problem remained for Sibius to tackle. At the time, the daylight hours were divided into 12, so their hours were shorter in winter than in the summer. He added two separate hour lines that appeared nearer or further apart, depending on the time of the year. The Greeks now had the most accurate 24-7 water clock in the world. Hello everybody! My name is Hiro! I show you my new water timer! First things first, you take the blue liquid and pour it in the top cup until the bottom bottle is full. Now, we flip the bottle. The bottom bottle is now emptying into this bottle through the middle straw. After flipping the bottle one more time, pour water into the top cup to begin the flow. What is that sound? It is pizza time! 